Hello guys and welcome, my name is Rage, and today we're going to be playing some uh, Harvest Moon 64, one of my uh, favorite games from my childhood. So let's start this up right away. Enter your name! Um... Uh... T-W-A... Okay, Tweak, Tweak. Yeah, we're Tweak. Tweaker. Tweaker! Yeah, we're Tweaker. That's my name, Tweaker. Enter your birthday. The birth the summer, because that's actually when my birthday is. Are you, is, is this your name and birthday? Yes. Pick pick that. Enter the name of your ranch. Ah. Uh -huh. Rangage. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Can enter your no your dog's name. Can I enter Bargleton? Where's K? Barkle Barkle Dog Barkle Dog Print. Yes, Barkle Dog Print. That sounds perfect. No, 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 no. Put away all those like sushi food. So yeah, um, I should probably be taking this a little bit more seriously, but I'm I'm lazy as shit. Uh, this is like one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Um, the whole premise is really is you wake up here, and I'll kind of explain it here. You wake up on this farm, and this is now my plot of land. Nice to meet you. I'm the mayor. I'm sure you have lots of questions. Shall I show you around the, the village? Yeah, sure. So this guy's going to show us around the village. He's the mayor of the village town area here. Oh, hello. You're going to wave at me. If you take this path, you head right towards Moon Mountain. Ooh, and the vineyard. Yeah, I didn't like the vineyard too much. This is the way it leads to the green ranch. They'll have... Oh, they'll teach you how to raise animals. Oh, and they're looking for someone to take their horse, so... You should probably drop a floor. And then the spring. Okay, so I, I should probably go collect their horse, because I want that. Um... This is the florist. They sell vegetable and grass seeds. Blah, 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 blah. This is potpourri. This is the woman I used to marry all the time when I was a kid. I don't know why they should pink hair. I always thought that was hot. I don't know. I was a weird kid. Really weird. This is the church. Children study there. Uh, that's called a school. But uh, thanks for coming out, Mr. Mayor. You tried. Uh, that's the bar. Ooh, a bar in like a kid's game. And up here is where you go to the village square where they have all their little parties and their events. And I'm telling you now, they have some wild events. They have like horse races, they have like drinking contests. Here's Rick, the uh, the lazy carpenter, opens his store like fucking three times a day or three days a week. It's a tool and craft shop. You can buy farm tools and s what sundry goods here? Okay. Oh, hello. I didn't get to say hi because my guy's a silent protagonist prick. He doesn't care about you. He does what he wants to do. Oh, here's Ellie at the bakery. Her family owns it. I love how they're giving you like the like the potential women you can marry. So you got Ellie, you got Potpourri, you got the children. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, this is the potion shop. You can drink medicine when you feel sick. The rest is the best thing. Oh, fantastic. Glad he told me that. The kid looked like a monkey over there with a the yellow shirt. I think it's the mayor's kid, though. Oh, yeah, and then this is, um... Oh god, what's this chick's name? This library, I don't remember this chick's name. Is it Karen, is it? No, no, Karen's the one with the brunette hair. Okay, so he's he's feeling pride and accomplishment and showing me every place. Now, he's gonna take me back to my farm, and, uh... Hey, you're the old man's grandson, right? Nice to meet you, I'm a buyer, blah, blah, blah. This guy comes back around every day, around, I think, 5 o'clock. And he looks in there and sees if I have any goods that I put inside the thing, and he pays me for it every single day, whether you have it or not. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, because if you don't make it back before 5, and you don't get your stuff in there, you don't get paid until the next day. So, I, I can tell you one thing. It'll break and make or break your bank sometimes. Find things that you can do and get used to the work slowly. Well, goodbye and good luck. Alright, I'm glad he, he came out to tell me everything. It, so yeah, it's, uh, oh no, this is 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. He came by here. This is my nice plot of land that I have to work with here. As you can tell, my grandfather left it behind was a, a dick. And left me behind was shit. 
you know, what insensitive asshole. He left me some tools saying, here you go, you can clean up my land because I'm, I'm a lazy schmuck and I'm not going to do it, so you're going to have to do it for me. You can, uh, you can kind of like change around the perspective of things, sort of. Makes it easier to traverse through this little hole of the uh, field. But, you know, when I was a kid, I always liked to play with the classic view, just slightly angled. Looking at almost like a 45 degree angle. So, let's go back inside. Uh, let's check the weather. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Oh, it's going to be sunny and clear and sunshiny. That's great. Okay, what about um, month? We have planting festival on the 8th. Okay, that's great. And the horse race on the 17th. The flower festival on the 23rd. It is now the 3rd. So, let's go to bed right now. Waste away an entire day because the mayor wasted my goddamn day trying to show me everything in the city. Like, some people, where do they get off, right? And he comes by and he's like, I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to show you the world. ASMR. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, it's not. It kind of creeps me the shit out. I don't know. Some people like it. I, I just find it's kind of mildly creepy. Now, if I remember correctly, um, which one puts it in my bag? Okay, down on the sea arrow eats the goddamn plant, which kind of pisses me off because the herb there was worth like good money. I think that was like 200 G's. I think those are gold pieces, I'm not too sure. Anyways, um, if I remember correctly, the nice thing to do on the way out here is this lump, or this lump, this stump here. You're gonna want to chop this down every goddamn day, because you're gonna want lumber like crazy if you're gonna be expanding your house and your farm. Um, when I was a kid, I used to make a racetrack in my uh, backyard in the game, which was always pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this game doesn't go in months, it just goes by in seasons. So, I'm telling you one thing, the years will go by hella fast in this game. And people will come and go in the village and leave and stay and... You, you want to keep track of people. Because it's nice to have friends in this game. Friends will do nice things for you. Uh, I know if you start getting sick after a while, oh man, I'm getting a little... Getting a little pooped! Worked a little hard to pull out my handkerchief. Uh, I know if you get like sick at like certain points in the game, like some of the like ladies in the town, if they like you, they'll come by and they'll like tend to your sickness. Um, I think Ellie, the one that runs the bakery, will come by and like bring you tea and like take care of you. Um, this guy is the silent protagonist or silent guy. <sighs> like, thank God he's here to just stand there and talk. Yeah, you cut that tree, boy. You cut the tree, man. You got this. I'm working at a far more, like, slower rate than you. Like, uh, you're, you're getting work done. I'm... I, I've got a ladybug. Be free! Be free! No, okay, I thought it was gonna fly away. Um, yeah, either way, we just gotta collect some goods and some supplies. Uh, this music always annoyed me when I was a kid, too. Being the whiny, picky person I am. Okay, it's only 3 o'clock. We got plenty of time to collect some goods. Yeah, I've got four grapes. I think that's what they are. Grapes? Very berry fruit. Ooh, you can eat them or sell them, and you got the medicine. Relieves fatigue a little bit, which is pretty nice. So if you've been out working in the fields all day, just slam, 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 getting shit done. You can pull one of those out of your bag, just munch on them, just, mmm, them good greens. Good for you, man. Get you pretty toasty. Get you fresh. Name's Harris. Thanks. It's good to meet you, Harris. You're the, obviously the mailman. One of the common deceptions or misconceptions I had as a kid, this motherfucker right here, fishing. Is this a man or a woman? What is it? I, th I think it's a dude, I think, but the lips look like, like lipstick or something. I feel like it's a dude. Sure, I'll fish. Give me one of my rods after you equip it. Use the B button to cast it. So he's giving away one of his rods, so I'll, I'm... It leads further in the stereotype of is he, is he man or is he woman or is it man or woman? Nobody knows. But the day's coming to an end here. I might want to go put all my stuff in the uh, collection basket so I can see how much big money I can make. Because uh, Roid Monkey's gonna be coming by anytime soon now to collect all my money or to buy all my stuff. So let's uh, let's throw some stuff in there. This game always it was always weird that you like picked it up and. Oh, no, 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 oh god, did I miss it? I can, I can still do it. I think he comes at... Yeah, I totally missed it, didn't I? Nothing today, what? Fuck you, you just watched me put it all in there! What is even the point of your life? 
Your life is a useless existence. I hope you I hope you fall over. I hope you trip on a fucking rock. And now it's night time. Cause we we must live like right on the equator or something, because it's six o'clock if it's getting dark like this. There's some serious issues. Now, the one thing I always found really funny in this game is you can like you can buy the brush and you can brush and pet your animals. So you can get the cows, you can get the chickens, you can get a sheep, um, the horse and the dog. Or you can be a complete asshole, and if you don't forget to switch out your tools, you can walk up to your dog and just whap, bop your dog, and he will like, growl at you. I would do it, but I think my dog is going to hate me. No, screw it. So you can just go like, oh. See, and he like growls at you. He's like, he's pissy. He's not very happy that I just bopped him with a hammer. But then again, who would be happy about that? Like, somebody walking up to me with a hammer and just go pow! I'd be like, Arr! Probably be a little pissed off too, but you know, to each their own. Let's go. Let's go ahead to bed. End the day on a good note. Dear diary, today I collected some very berries, got a medical fruit, met Harris, got a fishing rod, and beat my dog with a hammer. It was a good day. <laughs>